subscribe and blah, blah, blah. Shh. Hi, kid. St. Patrick's Day is the luckiest holiday on the calendar. And since I want us to get as much good luck as possible, I found us the best luck book in the whole entire world. Even my fingertips are lucky. Check it out. Ah, ah! But that's not, which of isn't? You seem upset. This is not my luck book. What are you talking about? It says luck right there. When I asked you to bring me a luck book, I meant good luck, not the worst luck. Well, you probably should have used your words better. <laughs> you should really use your words, storyteller. You know what? I refuse to read the worst luck book in the whole entire world. But you have to, storyteller. No, I don't have to do anything, Green Bear. But the creed, the storyteller creed. Oh, yes, that's right. Green thing, bear, the creed. Oh, uh, how does that go again? Hmm, I don't remember. You've got to remember. Listen, he says you've got to remember. Okay, fine. It goes something along the lines of, as a storyteller, uh, my creed is to read every single book that crosses my desk, no matter what the book is, or if it says weird things, or says things that I don't like, because I do it for the kids. Well then, it sounds like if you don't read it, you're not a real storyteller. <gasps> show her, storyteller, show her that you're the real deal. Fine, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> what? Why do I feel like I've been tricked? Okay, fine, you're here, I'm here, my lucky nails are here. Okay, so we've got the worst luck book in the whole entire world. And I think that what we can learn from this before I've even opened the book is that when we ask for something, we should be very specific. Oh, this book, unfortunately, belongs to you and me and the K-Town family. This book is dedicated to wood for always getting knocked on. The worst log book in the whole entire world and I'm gonna read it now to you. Hey, hey, it's your lucky day. Oh, really, is it? If it were any other day. I don't know if you've seen our other worst books in the whole entire world that somehow Witch Jefferson always manages to sneak in here. <laughs> but this rock that you see right here is in all of the books and is always like very blah, blah, blah. Because this is the worst luck book in the whole entire world. How do I know this book is the worst? Reason number one, I'm stuck in it. Just Pull a little, pull a little. Oh, it really is stuck in there. Am I lucky or what? What? Reason number two. I am not lucky. I am the unluckiest rock you will ever meet. Woohoo! That seems awfully happy for a bad luck book. Who's woohooing over here? Who's this guy? What are you supposed to be? I don't know. He looks really happy to be here. I'm Leafy, the five-leaf clover. Reason number three, five-leaf clovers must be bad luck. I've never heard of a five-leaf clover, but if four leaves are good luck, five must be more, right? No, 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 you silly rock. The more leaves a clover has, the luckier it is. Just as I thought. You never want to meet a one-leaf clover. Why? because they're the worst. Oh, okay, that's very dramatic. Anyway, can you help me find the end of the rainbow? That's where my treasure is. Do I really have a choice? Nope. Oh, is that from the illustrator? It's like coming in and telling the rock that he's gotta get to business. Okay. Reason number four, the author is not my friend. No, I'm sure that's not right. That's totally right. Not your friend. Uh, no, you know what? No. I cannot believe that an author would, would put somebody in the book that they didn't like. You know what? I'm going to prove that you're wrong, witch -efficient. Yeah, You can't prove anything. <laughs> you know what? I can because I have a secret weapon that witch -efficient doesn't know anything about. Say what? I have something I've been keeping secret for a very long time. Say what? It is 
An author button. I need to press a button. I'm going to press a button and I'm going to contact the author to find out if he really doesn't like the rock that he put into his own book, who's super cranky all the time. Let's see. I'm going to find out. I'm going to do it. Do it. I'm going to do it. Okay, so we want to contact uh, Joey Acker. That's the writer and the illustrator. Okay, so we're going to ask the question. Author Joey Acker, are you really not friends with The Rock in your book? <laughs> what? No, no, we're we're great pals. We're uh yeah, good good pals. Honestly, that seems suspicious. Totally sus. It wasn't as convincing as I'd hoped. Okay, I want to ask author Joey Acker a question. No, no, we don't have any time. I want to. It's my book, and I, and I deserve to talk to the author and push the button. Okay, I'm going to do it. Fine. All right, author Joey Acker, if that's really your name. Your rock is cranky, and your books are the worst. Press. Thank you. It was a compliment. Okay, let's move on. Uh, move my author button aside. Okay, so back to the book. So there's a rock and there's a five-leaf clover. And the author is your friend because he said so suspiciously, but he did say he's your friend. And let's go! Okay, so off we go with the five-leaf clover and the cranky rock. I don't even see a rainbow. Hmm. Oh, how convenient. There it is. Let's follow it. Nothing can stop us now. Luck is on my side. Reason number five. Your luck must be on the other side. Oh, that's a doozy of a first step. It doesn't look too far down. Don't do it. Oh, no, that's really just too far to go. Do it. Do it. Don't do it. It's too far. No, you don't want to use up your luck on this. Reason number six. He did it. Jerring. This can't be good. Where's this string coming from across the way? And oh no. Ah! Reason number seven. It's a big bad luck cat. Ah! Oh no, not the big bad luck cat. Oh, doing, doing, doing. Oh no, not you. Give me all your gold. I don't have any gold. Who carries gold around with them? Right? Who just walks around with gold? I, I mean, unless you're a leprechaun. Hi. And this seems to be um, not a good kind of leprechaun. Call me crazy, but he kind of looks like a bad rock leprechaun and a thief. Of course, you carry around gold, Jerry Pumpkins. Bye! Jerry Pumpkins, here from the worst Halloween book in the whole entire world, making a cameo, running around with gold and a same... I don't understand what's happening. There is a great rumble in the distance. <laughs> did you hear that? I did. Mm, what's happening now? There's a storm. <laughs> It's a one-leaf clover, which is reason number eight. And the bad rock leprechaun is running and let the string go. And, and our boring, cranky rock is just hitting the ground, thankfully, with his little tiny, tiny hands. And what is that thing? And <laughs> it's me, Leafy. Oh, Leafy, you've really, you've really grown. Come see what I found. And there he goes, grabbing a rock by the hand, and off they go. And oh, <gasps> I Guess this is our lucky day. Did you see the rainbow and they actually reach the huge pile of gold at the end? No! 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 Are you done now? No! I've been betrayed! This is the worst luck book in the whole entire world! Well, literally, that's the name of the book? Huh! Touché! Joey Acker, touché! It's okay. I guess we're gonna have good luck after all. Boom! Ah!